What is up YouTube? Traveling card puller here with another video for you. Uh, appreciate all the love lately. Um, going ahead and saying it, you know, my numbers have been going up dramatically. I know it's probably because of the video quality has been a little better in respects to the amount of uh, high quality cards. Uh, but definitely continue to say I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming to my channel. I appreciate you watching my videos. And I'll keep trying to give you some good content, like this one. As you can see, we're looking at a 23 Heritage High Number box that I got from Walmart. And unfortunately, this box has been through it a little bit. Now, this side's the better side, but this side, oh boy. We've been through something. Now, I checked inside. The cards look like they're still in good condition. Uh, so this is just the box that took the hit, but sometimes the most damaged boxes give you the best hits. So we're going to go ahead and open this one, even though it did a good job of trying to keep itself open. Anyway, and we're going to see what was hiding or what needed to be destroyed to the point where we, a lot of people were overlooking it because, you know, maybe it got damaged, but hey. We like a bargain, we like a, we like a, we like to find good cards and hopefully in this Heritage high number, there are some good cards. And you know me, I love the high number Heritage right now. It's been very good to me. So we're gonna see if this particular box, even though it's been through something, it's gonna give out some good cards. Like I said, packs seemed intact, cards didn't appear to be damaged. Although this box is better, er, you know, better off probably not even displaying it, but hey, for purposes, for, for video purpose sake, we're gonna put that right there. All right, we'll leave damage pack for, or not damage pack, but the one that was closest to the damage for last. Right at the bottom, we'll make sure he goes very much last. So here we go. All right. Remember, we're looking for anything, including our 700 club. So we're gonna go through, and we're gonna see, and then we're gonna check our backs before we drop. So we got a Kybert Ruiz. Sorry about the shadow. I'm dealing with a light issue here. Uh, Kybert Ruiz. David Robertson, we have a Ryan Weathers, Tristan Casas, Nick Fortes, we have a Trevor Lenark, uh, Larnock, Jordan Montgomery, we have ourselves a Ryan Noda rookie, and a Michael Bush rookie. So let's take a quick peek. And see what we have. <clears throat> see, 635, 632. Let's see, Tristan, 5054. Looking for in anything down in the lower corner that indicates an error card or, or some image variation or anything 700. No 700s out of that one. Move on to the next pack. Start off with a Mr. Trey Turner, oh, Philadelphia, going second with Jay Cave. Ooh, I should keep these separate for now. Is that Trey? Yeah, Trey. All right, we got ourselves Kyle Stowers. We have our first variant, which is a stamp card with Darton Varsho, uh, George Springer, Matt Chapman, and Alejandro Kirk, all Blue Jays. There won't be a variation on that. We have ourselves a highlights card for Rod Carew. Not bad. Cesar Salazar rookie card. We have, oh, another Phillies, another Phillies pack again. Um, Emmanuel Valdez, Brandon Marsh, and Drew Maggie. I'm just styling shades. All right, so let's see, do we have any? Uh, no, nothing on Trey, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Okay, no 
No variation prints so far. Two packs down. Let's keep moving. All right. We got Candelario. We have Eddie Rosario. Jake Berger. Christian Bethencourt. Sorry. We have a now and then card for Spencer Strider on September 1st, 2022. He caught 16 Ks. Hopefully it wasn't against my Phillies. Joey Weimer, Logan Allen, Brett Wisely, and Ryan Jeffers. Okay, let's go ahead and check. 6'11, 5'6. Okay, nothing at the bottom corners. All right, <clears throat> three packs down. Let's see. Keep on moving. All right, we got a Adam Hazley. We have ourselves a Chris Stratton. Devin Williams. Oops. We have a Garrett Stone rookie. Stuart Fairchild. Gregory Soto. Matt Mervis. Eduardo Escobar and Yuri Perez. All right, let's see here. 672, 584, 56. Oh, no, yep, we got our first short print, which is Stuart Fairchild, 701. He's the lowest numbered uh, out of all of the short prints. And that's it. No image variations or anything like that that we can see. No errors cards. So one short print. We're still looking for our either auto or relic. All right. All right, Jared. I'll move Stu, or Stu over a bit. Jarek. Jared. Maybe it's an all Jared pack. <laughs> Jose Cavallario. Bruce Strong. Randy Vasquez, rookie. Andrew Bellotti. Johan Olivado. Brian Rochillo, rookie. And Orlando Arced, or Arcea, sorry. All right. Clinic, no. Schuster, no. No, no. 708. Mr. Randy Vasquez is a short print card. No, no, we're part of our 700 club. Not seeing any variations on the other cards. All right, three packs left. We still haven't got our relic yet, so we're still looking for that or our auto. Hopefully for an auto instead of a relic. We'd love to get a red, red ink auto. That would be awesome. We have a Brent Rooker. We have a Abasail uh, Garcia. Mark Kana. Mark Kana, yeah. Tommy Fam. Oh, what is this one? Die cut. Oh, I've never got one of these before. Oh, these are these are one of those minis. These are the uh, Tops Deckled Edge baseball mini cards. It says twenty number twenty one through forty are rare. Okay, so Tommy Fam. We have ourselves. Okay, Chris uh, Kyle Tucker. For Houston, number 26. So this is a rare deckled edge. That is that is my first one of these ever. I don't think I've seen one even pulled on screen, on camera. But that is pretty darn cool. A little bigger than tobacco size. So I'll get a standard. We got a. Barrett, 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 uh, blah, 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 I can't talk now. <laughs> Braxton Garrett. Put Kyle up there. I'm not a fan of him because he's on Houston, but you know. Nonetheless, a Max Scherzer. Yuri Guriel. And Yanir Cano. All right. Let's look for our shorts and our variation ones. We have 556. Five, Six, six, four, six, forty. And so, okay, no variations, no short prints, except for our Kyle Tucker. All right. 
a little bit of card luck continues. Not sure if that counts as the relic or the auto. So we'll keep our eyes pierced for that still. We have a Sean Manea. We have an AJ Puck. Kyle Isbell. Cole Raggins, rookie. Brian Anderson. Miguel Rojas. Anthony Di Scalafani. Oscar Colas. And Kenta Medea. All right, let's check our numbers. Check for our image variations and error cards. 700 Club is not present in this pack. Okay. All right. Last pack, the one we were holding out, the one that was closest to the damage. So let's let's see what we see what we got here. All right, doesn't look like there's a relic in this, so that might be our hit card for the pack. Uh, Leon Sosa, Jordan Romano. We have a Juan. Then, actually, I was wrong. We have a numbered card out of this one. We have a base card number. Uh, Brian uh, Brian Rocio, rookie card, number to nine ninety nine, number one hundred three. So, yeah, got two hits out of this box. A little lucky there. Uh, John Gray, Michael Chavez, Alex Cobb, Matt Carpenter, and Josh Jung. All right, last look for any kind of short prints or errors. Let's see, base, base, base. Oop, John Gray was a short print card. 700 Club, base, 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 and base. All right, so you guys, I'll let you guys take the make the judgment there. Heritage high number, damage box left aside, caught three of the 700 short print cards. All of these were low number short prints 701, 706, and 708. Between Randy, John, and Stu. And then we caught our first ever deckled edge that I've seen. Didn't even know what it was. For Kyle Tucker, based on the box, anything 21 to 40 is a rare card. So this is a rare Kyle Tucker. And then we have our numbered card, which is a Brian Rocio, uh, which is number 999, not number 103. So there we go. Heritage High Number, everybody. I can't believe people are boohooing this because, you know, there's a small checklist or not the good rookies are in it or anything else. But as you can see, we're still pull pulling really good product, even from a damage box. So don't, don't neglect your damage boxes out there, people. Love them. Show them some love. Pick them up. As long as the cards inside weren't damaged. You might get lucky. All right. Peace out.